wanted to record um, something for specifically the Legend Online South American version. Today they'll be getting an update for SkyTrail. Now this uh, video should be able to help out actually anybody that's doing SkyTrail. So um, even if you've had SkyTrail for a while, a lot of people ask me how I've gotten so far in SkyTrail and um, what skills I use, what setup and stuff like that. There are a couple of really important things that you have to know about SkyTrail. Um, when you start out, let me see. Okay, well this is as far down as it will let me go. Up here at the top it will say SkyTrail Level 1. And then you'll start out with only this one available, the first one. And when you look at this here, you can look at the card, go up here, it'll tell you the primary attribute is water. That is actually very, very important to know. And then this gives you the rewards for it. If you Once you complete it with just A, B, C, whatever ratings, you can continue fighting it as many times as you want. You can continue beating it and you'll get the rewards for winning. Um, once you get an S rating, you cannot fight it again. So if I try to click this one, greatest assessment has been achieved. Can't do it. That's also why I can't go down to levels 1 or 2 here because I've already got S ratings on all of them. Um, I should go back and redo these just to get the S rating on them, but uh, eh, I've already got all my refined sylphs. Rewards for this stuff is pretty good. As you can see, to receive uh, when you receive an S assessment, you get a little bit of a bonus rewards, but it does stop the fact that you can continue doing it. These are all set up the same way. First one is always water. Sixth one is always water. Second and seven are always f Ah. Well, second and seventh one are always fire. Third one and eighth one are always wind. Fourth and ninth are always electro. Your fifth one is your dark. And then ten is your light. Now, the, f the fifth and tenth, the dark and light, are really, really difficult. Um, they hit a lot harder than all the previous levels and so you really got to have a pretty good strategy going into these things. Um, the, like I said at the beginning, the most important part of this first of all is figuring out the attribute. Most of these I recommend using your Electro um, Sylph for. I use Electro for 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, and 10. The only ones I don't use it for are the wind and electro bosses, and the reason for that is wind is wind is extremely uh, high resistance to electro, so um, you you need to really try to maximize your damage on this. And if you're fighting against wind and trying to use an electro sylph, you're your uh, damage is going to really drop so and also the damage he deals to you is going to be a lot more um, the same thing with electro it you might think it's a good idea to use your electro sylph because then he won't hit you as hard but then you also have to think that you're not going to hit him nearly as hard either so um, I use Hades for these Hades is a lot stronger than your Apollo and it has the uh, that skill that allows you to heal yourself while doing damage at the same time. So that is a really nice bonus. Um, if you have a really high level fire or something like that, that might be good for wind. But I just use my Hades for both of these, uh, wind and electro. Now, getting back to what I was saying about how important this is, the rewards from these things are really good. You get a lot of gold. Uh, you get some star sand, some star tears, yada yada yada. If you beat a, a water level, then you get a water tier. So it, the rewards from these are pretty good. Um, if you want to maximize your uh, possibility of beating this thing, you really have to have good resistance. I'm uh, currently working on a dark level 
So I've got some dark resistance here synthed up. And it really minimizes the damage. Uh, I'll show you that in just a minute. But first, to go through what I normally do as a skill rotation. Now, of course, this won't apply for mages and knights, but here's what I here's the setup that I typically use. Have my bloodthirsty in case I need to heal. Armor piercer does pretty decent damage. Um, and your incendiary, of course, is to try to minimize the damage received. Some of the bosses, I actually don't use that. I'll change it out with my Delphic just because the damage it does is higher. But um, for any other classes, for mages and for knights, just figure out what your best damage dealing thing is because these things rage pretty quick. But you can set yourself up for success on these. Um, and here I'll show you how to do that. If you, For the first several bosses on level 1, you shouldn't have too much of a problem going in and just whooping their butt. But once you start to get to the higher level ones, um, what you can do... Actually, I'll do it at a higher level so it kills me a bit faster. go in and then just let it auto attack. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is getting my awakening points up, getting my rage maxed, that way when I come in and fight him again the next time, um, he can, uh, I can just immediately use a high power um, skill and then immediately go into awakening, uh, immediately use my awakening points, go into self mode and I'll show you exactly what I do with that as soon as I'm dead here. So even with all that dark resistance you see how hard he's hitting me, 100,000 but I mean I am on level 5-5 five, five, so they shouldn't be hitting you that hard at the lower levels. And this is a dark boss, so the, the, like I mentioned, the, the dark bosses actually tend to be a lot harder even than the light bosses, but the dark and light really hit a lot harder than the other four. So, what we do here, and I'll say what skills I'm using here, but really for mage or knight, you can use whatever skills, you know, really best suit you. I always start out with one skill. For me, it's incendiary. Hit my space bar. Gets my skills flashing. I hold down the three key right now. There's my first skill that I want to activate. And then in between turns, I hit my brutality rune. Hit the four key. Keeps my skills flashing. And then as soon as it appears on the screen, I hit my five. hit my 2 to activate that skill and then hit cancel. You don't want to stay in sylph mode too long. That's actually what kills a lot of people. Um, I mean it really wouldn't have applied here because I'm killing it so fast. But let it select your first skill when it reads on the screen. Select your next skill using your keyboard. And bam, done. Uh, maybe I should try a little bit of a harder one <laughs> so that I can show you the full rotation. This one might actually kill me faster than dark one right now with no electro uh, no wind resist. So you can see these things do hit pretty hard. Your resistance really makes a difference in here. So what I did to um as I was going along, I you know equipped water resistance, I cleared it, then I changed it over to uh, fire resistance, 
cleared that one, changed it over to wind resistance. You know, just keep on going on and on that way. Okay, so I'll show you on this one exactly what I do. Um, be nice if I could clear it. So I have no buffs on right now. I'm waiting till I have to reset and then do some more stuff. But um, so we start out with a skill. Awaken our sylph. As soon as that skill activates, hold down a key. Select Brutality Rune in between turns. Select the next skill. Select Medelphic. Select a number two. Jupiter's Wrath. Hit Cancel. AFK. Now you just you're gonna want to try to just maximize your damage at this point. Um, and you know, keeping yourself alive at the same time can be the tricky part. But basically your what I did the first time is I just used four powerful hits to try to do as much damage as I could in a short period of time. Got out of Sylph mode, that way I could come back into sylph mode as soon as possible and just start hitting skills and he's gonna end up killing me before I can heal myself again but anyway I got lucky there and he's raged anyway but that's what you're trying to avoid is trying to avoid letting them rage at the later levels they rage a lot faster um, but basically you use one skill, go into Sylph mode, use four Sylph attacks, leave Sylph mode, just fight him as you normally would until um, your Sylph is ready again, go into Sylph mode again, and then just smack away a few times. And that's how I've gotten as far as I've gotten. I uh, might have done a little bit better if I had some buffs and stuff on, but I don't feel like dealing with that right now. Um, so other rewards that you get here. As you can see, once you completely clear a map and move on to the next map, you get some some other nice rewards, some Kyanite, Daru, some Star Sand. Yada, yada, yada. And um, the real big thing that you get from this is here, these claim horn, uh, well it says claim horn, but you get these horns. And what these horns are, is, I don't think I have any. Yeah, I used all mine earlier. But basically, you open it up, and then there will be eight cards, and you flip over cards and get free shit. And the amount of horns you get depends on how many levels you've cleared. If you've only, uh, it's for every five, every fifth level, you get two extra horns. And so uh, I'm at this point getting 16 horns. It's pretty nice. Um, but the horns you can get, you can get uh, Mara, Sepulchrum, Star Sand, Star Tear Shards, uh, Will Crystals, which is really nice, a little bit rare, but you can get those. You can flip one card at a time. Um, you can flip one card for free. If you want to flip a second card in that same deck, then it starts to cost balance, and it gets very costly very fast. Uh, I don't ever bother with that. I just flip one card and then I hit reshuffle or whatever it says and then flip one card, reshuffle, one card, reshuffle um, and I tend to get pretty decent results. I get will crystals maybe once a day, maybe sometimes twice a day, maybe once every other day. It really varies but um, yeah I don't waste any balance on that. There's plenty of other things to waste balance on and one other thing you get from there is you get a, a little thing that is actually why I have 364 attempts up here you get 10 uh, 
attempts per day on Sky Trail. Once you're out, you're out, unless you happen to have. Right, where is these thingy wingies? I appear to be blind in one eye, can't see out of the other. Okay, here we go. The Celestial Stone. Um, you don't have to do anything to activate it, it's just once you go into Sky Trail, as you saw, it said I had 364 attempts done. So once you finish your 10 free daily attempts, it will automatically start using these things up. Um, I just, I don't know why I never use them. I used a couple hundred of them a few weeks ago and they just keep adding up. You get a lot of these things, as well as Star Sands and Star Tears and Shards. So um, if you're panicking, wondering, how do I get the stuff to refine my sylphs? You will get it. It will come with time. As everything in this game, everything comes with time. So so don't worry your pretty little heads off or anything else. Um, so to show you on that boss what the difference is, In damage, how how big of a deal having resistance is on these things. Ah, look at all that damage. <laughs> yeah. 193,000. There's a word for that, and it's damn. Nice block. But yeah, the object of this is basically spam as much damage as you can in a short period of time because once they rage there's just really no way to stop it so if you have any more questions about sky trail or anything else you can message me on facebook just do a search for the thrill or message me on my youtube it's a little bit easier actually to get on uh, to get a hold of me on the, my Facebook page, uh, if you message me, I can generally um, just sit there and write back and forth with you because I check that pretty frequently. But YouTube, the way messaging works, sometimes I don't get the message for a little while, so I can't just sit there and actually have a conversation with you. But if you message me on Facebook, I try to respond as soon as I can. If there's anything else you want to see or anything like that, like I said, just let me know. I do my best to uh, get you some answers or to get a video out there for you. Thank you very much.